Hello everyone, today we will do exercise 11.4 of unit 11 that is time and in this exercise we will be finding the duration of time, fine. So let's get started, question number 1 is find the duration of time that is 6.15 am to 12 noon. So first of all we need to convert the time into 24 hour clock time and after that we will do the subtraction. Why we have to subtract? Because whenever we need to find the duration of time, we need to subtract the finishing time from the starting time. Because whenever we have the finishing time and starting time of any activity, we can subtract it and find the duration of time. Because when you know when the activity begin and when it ended, you can subtract that and find the duration. So 6.15 a.m. So if it is am time and the hours is in single digit, you need to put one zero before it because in uh, when we have to convert into 24 hours time, we have to write the time in four digits and first two digits uh, represent hours and second two digits are for minutes. So if it is am time and the digit is one, in the hours column so you have to put one zero before it here it is 6 15 am so hours is in single digit so we have to put one zero before it and minutes we have to write after that so 0, 0615 hours then 12 noon so 12 zero, zero hours okay because here in minutes column there is nothing and now we can subtract it to find the duration of time so hours and minutes then the finishing time is 12 noon. So write it on the top and then 6.15 a.m. at the bottom. That is 12 hundred hours and 06.15 minutes. Because 06 is hours and 15 is minutes. Here 12 is hours and 00 is minutes. So the subtraction, method of subtraction will be same as we have done in the previous exercise. We cannot subtract 15 minutes from 00 minutes. So we need to borrow. So 12 hours will become 11 hours and this 00 minutes will be 60 minutes. So 60 minus 15, this subtraction will now be same as you do the simple subtraction sums. It is 45 and here 11 minus 6 will be 5. So the duration is 5 hours and 45 minutes between 6.15 a.m. and 12 noon. Now part B, 8.30 a.m. to 3.50 p.m. So first of all, we will convert this time that is given in 12 hour clock into 24 hour clock. And you should know that whenever we have to convert the time into 24 hour clock, we have to write the time in four digits and the unit will be hours. And if it is a.m. time, nothing will be added here. Hours will remain same only if it will be in single digit 0 will be added before it but if there is pm time it means if the time is after 12 noon you will have to add 12 hours to the hours to make the time as per the 24 hour clock time so here it is 8 30 am means 0 8 3 0 hours and it is 3 50 pm 3 50 pm means it is the time which is after 12 noon so we have to add 12 hours to this hours that is 3 hours so 12 plus 3 is 15 hours and minutes will be same so according to 24 hour clock time 3 50 pm means 15 50 hours because at 1 o'clock we used to write 1300 hours means 12 plus 1. At 2 o'clock it is 1400 hours means after 12. 12 plus 2. So whatever is the time in hours add 12 to it to convert the time into 24 hour clock time if it is the pm time. Now let us subtract them. So 1550 will be written on the top and 8.30 at the bottom and let us subtract 50 minutes minus 30 minutes is 20 minutes and 15 minus 8 hours is 7 hours so the answer is 7 hours 20 minutes next is part c 4 10 pm to 12 midnight so 4 10 pm it is the time which is after 12 noon so we have to add 12 to the hours it means 12 plus 4 is 16 and minutes are 10 so 16 10 hours and 12 midnight is written as 2400 hours or 0000, 0, 0, 0 hours. But for calculation purposes, we use 2400 hours. So we have to subtract 1610 from 2400 hours. So 24 under hours and 00 under minutes. And 16 
under hours and 10 under minutes will be written. And then let's see, can we subtract 10 minutes from 60 minutes, uh, 0, 0 minutes? No. So we need to borrow. So 24 hours will become 23 hours and this 0, 0 minutes will become 60 minutes. Now 60 minus 10 is 50 and 23 minus 16 is 7. So the answer is 7 hours, 50 minutes. Next is part D. 9.20 p.m. to 2.10 a.m. So 9.20 p.m. is the time um, of one day and 2.10 p.m. is the time which is after 12 midnight means the time of the next day. So when uh, the situation will be like this that you will be having the time of two days at that time you need to uh, write 12 midnight in between that is 2400 hours. So first of all convert 9.20 p.m. into uh, 24 hour clock time means you have to add 12 hours to 9 hours it will become 21 and minutes will be 20 so 21 20 hours then you have to write 12 midnight means 2400 hours and then 2 10 a.m if it is a.m time 12 hours are not added to it so it will be written as 0 2 1 0 hours now first of all you will subtract the starting time from 12 midnight so write 2400 hours on the top and 2120 under it uh, under the hours and minutes column and then see can you subtract 20 minutes from 00 minutes no so you need to borrow 24 hours will become 23 hours and this 00 minutes will be 60 minutes so now you can subtract it you will get 2 hours 40 minutes and then you will just write down the next time, the time of the next day, that is 2 hours and 10 minutes. So under hours and minutes column, write 0 to 1 0 and there is nothing to subtract from it. So it will be 2 hours and 10 minutes and then you have to find the total duration. You need to add these two times for finding the total duration. So add hours and minutes, that is time of the first day. 2 hours and 40 minutes and then time of the second day that is 2 hours and 10 minutes. So the total duration will be 4 hours and 50 minutes that is from 9.20 p.m. to 2.10 a.m. the duration of time is 4 hours 50 minutes. Next is question number 2. Shriya sleeps at 10.30 p.m. and she gets up early at 5.15 a.m. How long does she sleep? So she sleeps at 10.30 p.m. one day and then she gets up next day at 5.15 a.m. So if the activity takes um, completes in two days that it begins one day and gets completed on the next day at that time you have to consider 12 midnight for calculation purposes. So let's do the solution. Shriya sleeps at 10.30 p.m. So convert it and write the time into 24 hour clock time. So 10.30 p.m. It is p.m. time. So we have to add 12 hours to the hours. That is 10 plus 12, 22, 30 hours. Then you have to write 12 midnight also because this activity is getting completed on the next day. That is 2400 hours. She gets up at 5.15 a.m. means 0515 hours because if it is a.m. time, we don't have to add 12 hours to it. Now, first of all, you will subtract 2400 hours and 2230 hours means the beginning time of the activity when she sleeps. So, hours and minutes, then 2400 hours minus 2230. So, we cannot subtract 30 minutes from 00, 00 minutes. So, we will borrow. 24 hours will become 23 hours and 00, 00 minutes will become 60 minutes. So, after subtraction, we will get 1 hour 30 minutes. Now, the timing of the second day when she gets up that is 5 15 a.m so there is nothing to subtract from it it means 0 5 1 5 minus 0 0 0 0 it will be 5 15 fine means 5 hours and 15 minutes now we will find the total duration of time for which she sleeps so add hours and minutes that is 1 hour 30 minutes of the first day when she sleeps at 10 30 p.m and 5 hours 15 minutes of the second day when she gets up so the total duration will be 6 hours and 45 minutes means she sleeps for 6 hours and 45 minutes next is question number three a bus left lucknow at 6 10 a.m and reached delhi at 11 p.m the same day how long did it take to reach delhi we need to find the duration fine so 
a bus left lucknow at 6:10 am convert it into 24 hour clock time it will be 0610 hours it reached delhi at 11 pm this is pm time so we have to add 12 hours to 11 hours it will become 2300 hours therefore duration of time it took to reach delhi what we need to do we need to subtract the finishing time and the starting time because when the starting time of act of an activity and the finishing time is given we need to subtract it to find the duration of time so we have to subtract hours and minutes so a uh, finishing time of the activity the time at which the uh, bus reached delhi is 2300 hours we have to subtract the starting time that is when it left 6 hours and 10 minutes so we cannot subtract 10 minutes from 00 minutes so we will borrow from hours 23 hours will become 22 hours and 00 minutes will become 60 minutes so 60 minus 10 is 50 and 22 minus 6 is 16 it means it took 16 hours 50 minutes to reach the bus from lucknow to delhi next is question number 4 A train leaves Agra Fort at 19:15 hours on Monday and reaches Marwar Junction at 11:30 hours on Tuesday. So, train left Agra Fort on Monday but reached Marwar Junction on Tuesday. So, this activity took two days. Fine, it is not completed in a day. It is completed in two days. Fine. So, how long does it take Saurav to reach Marwar if he boards the train at agra fort so saurav he boards the train at agra fort it means he reaches marwar junction on tuesday whereas he just boarded the train on monday so how to find the duration of time that took saurav to reach marwar junction from agra fort so let's find that train leaves agra fort on monday at 1915 hours so this time is already in 24 hour clock so we need not to convert it now as we know that this particular activity that is this journey uh, is completed in two days it means we have to use this 12 midnight that is 2400 hours in calculation next is it reaches marwar junction on tuesday at 1130 hours so um, it starts on monday then there is midnight in between after that it reaches marwar junction on tuesday so let us find the duration of time it took to reach marwar junction so hours and minutes under hours just write down this 2400 hours and then subtract the time when the train left agra fort that is 1915 hours so 2400 hours minus 1915 so we cannot subtract 15 minutes from 00 minutes so we need to borrow so 24 hours will become 23 hours and this 00 minutes will be 60 minutes so 60 minus 15 it is 45 and 23 minus 19 it is 4 it means 4 hours 45 minutes then on tuesday it reaches marwar junction at 1130 hours so we will not subtract anything from it it means the uh, time that train took on tuesday to reach marwar junction it is 11 hours and 30 minutes so total duration that it took to reach marwar junction it was uh we have to add both the times that is the time it took on monday and the time it took on tuesday so on monday it is 4 hours and 45 minutes and on tuesday it is 11 hours and 30 minutes so we have to add it to find the total duration of time so 45 minutes plus 30 minutes it is 75 minutes but minutes should not be more than 60 so we will subtract 60 minutes from it so remaining 15 minutes we will write here and this 60 minutes that we have subtracted will be added in the hours column as 1 hour so 4 plus 1 5 plus 1 6 and this 1 it means total duration of the journey was 16 hours and 15 minutes so the train took 16 hours 15 minutes from agra fort to marwar junction now next is question number 5 vidushi went on a tour to goa she started her tour on 3rd january and came back on 8th february how long was the tour 
so vidushi she started a tour and she went on the tour on uh, to goa so she started on 3rd january and came back on 8th february and we need to find the duration of the tour so first of all we will just calculate the number of days in january and then in february and then the total days so number of days in january fine it is total days in january are 31 so she started on 3rd january so the remaining two days she was not on the tour so we have to subtract those two days so that we can find the number of days uh, in the month of january that she was on the tour so 31 out of 31 days we have to subtract the two days then it means for 29 days in the month of january she was on tour then number of days in february so uh, in february she came back on 8th it means num uh, number of days in february will be 8 and total time or total days you can say 29 plus 8 is 37 therefore the tour vidushi went on to goa was 37 days long next is question number 6 a school closed for summer vacations on 2nd may and reopened on 8th july for how long days did the school remain closed so the school closed for summer vacations on 2nd may and reopened on 8th july so we have to find the number of days it remained closed so it closed on 2nd may so let us find the number of days in the month of may so number of days in may total in may we have 31 days and on 2nd may it closed but on 1st may it was working so we have to subtract that one day of may out of 31 so that we can find that 30 days in the month of may the school was closed then after may it comes june number of days in june there are 30 days and for whole 30 days the school was closed then number of days in july on 8th of july the school was reopened it means up to 7th it was closed so number of days in july will be 7 not 8 because on 8th it was opened therefore total duration 30 days of may 30 of june and 7 of july so 30 plus 30 plus 7 will be 67 therefore the school remained closed for summer vacations for 67 days Next is question number seven. Mukul left at five thirty a.m. on Friday and drove to Mumbai. He reached Mumbai at three fifteen p.m. on Monday. How long did it take to reach him Mumbai? So Mukul left at five thirty a.m. on Friday and reached Mumbai at three fifteen p.m. on Monday. So Friday his journey was started. Then it. took saturday sunday and then he reached on monday so from 5:30 am friday to 5:30 am monday is 3 days fine so from 5:30 am monday to 12 noon it is 6 hours and 30 minutes and from 12 noon to 3:15 pm monday it is 3 hours and 15 minutes so total time is 3 days then add the hours 6 plus 3 9 hours and then add minutes 30 and 15 so it is 45 minutes so total time that was taken to reach him uh, to mumbai was 3 days 9 hours and 45 minutes so it was the total duration of time so i hope you would have understood this exercise Thank you.